Hey Thumpers, welcome back to another review from Hyper RPG. Super excited to be here to talk about Marvel's Black Panther. Yes. Is this the 17th Marvel movie? I, I believe so. Or 18th? Yeah. 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 It's up there. So Naeem and I just got back from watching Black Panther. We were at Disney earlier tonight. We got to check out the movie and then going into it, we were both pretty excited about it. I mean, this is definitely in my like top five most anticipated movies yeah, of the I, year. Yeah, I, I was pretty much sweating. <laughs> pretty much. I was sweating for anticipation. <laughs> and and they, then they took our phones and then we couldn't, have, couldn't really do anything but just wait in the audience of doing nothing as they, we just scared, we stared at a screen of just the poster, which yeah. is fine. The poster which was is cool. But, but it was like 35 minutes yeah. of just like, okay, we're ready for the movie. <laughs> Can everyone sit down and shut up, please? And we were like, is it time yet? No, oh, we don't have watches. Oh, because it's on our phones. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. So. Uh, before we talk about the movie, just want to let you guys know that this is going to be a non-spoiler review. I know for Naeem, that's going to be really, really hard mm -hmm. because there's so many things mm -hmm. that he wants to talk mm -hmm. about, but... We like to do non-spoiler reviews before we do a spoiler review, just mostly so we can kind of give you a flavor and an idea of what the movie sort of is and how we feel about it and without kind of forcing you guys into listening to spoilers. So we'll do a spoiler review next week. Naeem won't be here, unfortunately, so he won't be able to partake in the uh, spoiler review. Yeah. But I feel like when you come back from your vacation, we should just have you on Hyper Heroes so you can just gush about the movie. Oh, yeah. I would love to do that. I would eh? love to do that. I'm I'm really... I know, obviously, you've seen it already, but I'm yeah. waiting to see what other people have think about, it, especially Hector and Augie. Yeah, once uh, it comes out. And yeah, hold for, your butts for people <laughs> for people who don't watch Twitch, who may not know who you are. Mm -hmm. What do you do here at Hyper RPG? Um, I'm the video board operator and uh, studio manager here. At Hyper RPG, uh, Name so, has a real position here. Yeah, so I pretty not much, like me who just <laughs> sleeps on that couch back there and bums <laughs> bums food off of people. Yeah, I, I pretty much manage. I try to manage the studio as best as possible. I run the shows in the back on a computer, switch the scenes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I will so, say it is clean as fucking. Yeah, here. we did a pretty much good remodeling here. It's looks you can't see it, but spot. damn. Yeah, <laughs> compared yeah. to this weekend, I was like, oh, this place, and I'm yeah. like, wow, <laughs> you did a good job, wow. <laughs> yeah, it, it's um, really nice. So talking about Black Panther, this is now I, I think the seventeenth or eighteenth Marvel movie. Mm -hmm. What what was something that you were really looking forward to going into this movie? For me, I was looking forward to uh, finally seeing this character that I grew up watching for like since I was a kid. My dad introduced me to Black Panther. Oh, cool! And. Uh, for years, I always wondered in the back of my head, like, when am I going to actually see a Black Panther movie? I mean, it was cool to see, like, Iron Man, uh, Spider-Man a bunch of times, uh, <laughs> you know, et cetera, et cetera, Batman, of course, all yeah. of them. But I, I, I wanted to see uh, one hero that I grew up just idolizing and uh, just wanting to see it on a big screen. And I finally got to see it after, like, you know, forever, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. And we got that. How did Definitely. you feel about Black Panther's introduction in Civil War? It was cool. It was cool. I mean, it it did enough to make me like, oh, okay, uh, let me find out more about this character. I mean, I knew a lot about him already um, by reading a bunch of comics, um, uh, pretty much that. Uh, but once I saw him on a big screen, I was like, okay, they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, it, and it just wanted me, to, it, it rejuvenated my... Uh, my, uh, I guess, love. I mean, I've never even stopped loving Black Panther, but right. still, uh, it reduced me like my my super interest of seeing this guy on the big screen because mm. I never dreamed of this happening anytime. Yeah, I mean, I know, I, I know that feeling. Like uh, when the Force Awakens was coming out, I went to Star Wars Celebration. Yeah, yeah. When they premiered the first trailer, mm -hmm. and I love Star Wars, obviously, but it was that moment that yeah. I was like, oh my god, it's yeah. real, it's yeah. happening. Yeah. So I can't even imagine that being something for you with a character that you've wanted to see on the big screen your mm -hmm. whole life and mm -hmm. you've never gotten it until mm -hmm. now. It, it's it's on the level of, say, uh, maybe a decade or so ago when we never thought the Avengers would be together on a big screen. Mm -hmm. It's on that level to me. Yeah. And finally seeing it, I'm like, yes. Yeah. And then you want more. Of course. Yeah. So. And then I, it was originally announced in like 2014 and it seemed like such a long way goal to get to Black Panther, mm -hmm. it was like we're gonna do 
where they, well, first they faked us out and they're like, we're going to do a Serpent Society movie, which ended up not being true. It ended up being Civil War. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to do Black Panther. We're going to do Captain Marvel mm-hmm. and all this sort of stuff. When that was announced, even prior, I mean, in that same in that same exact exhibit, it was like, we're going to make a Black Panther movie. Mm-hmm. And just kidding, we're doing Civil War. And look, Black Panther's going to be in yep, it. Yep. Um, and then, did it, you get to be there for that, or did you just get to watch the video of it? What video of, of the actual presentation that they did at oh, the El Capitan with the actors there? Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't go to that. I, oh, okay. I missed that, and apparently yeah. they just went off and got. Oh, you know, it's great. Yeah, I love watching that thing. But yeah, um, when once the movie was already announced i think more it got more hype once they started announcing actors that's mm. going to be in it and i'm like oh my gosh oh oh uh chadwick Boseman, obviously uh yeah. lapita uh, uh michael b jordan etc cetera, etc cetera. i'm like this is all star cast here dude yeah <laughs> like okay i need to you know make sure i go see this film yeah and i think the big thing for me the big sell- selling point for me other than the character because i thought he was I was excited about the character because it was something new and something fresh and mm-hmm. it was a potential to explore a world that has never been really explored or really it, it was just referenced in Age of Ultron right, right. But to actually see some sort of an exploration of yeah. this character in this world. But then you get Ryan Coogler mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. direct it and Man. I was like, yes. yo, Creed was Man. so good. Yes. Are you kidding me? Yes. Um, that made me super excited. Uh, and then obvi- I mean, that was before any casting was announced. So I'm like, okay, you got a really good director who's made two extremely great movies. Mm. So it can only go up from here. But then, yeah, you know, they announced Lupita Nyong'o, Dene Guerrera, and mm-hmm. Forrest Whitaker, and mm-hmm. Angela Bassett, mm-hmm. and Daniel Kaluuya, who mm-hmm. at that point, Get Out hadn't come out. So right. I right. didn't know who he was. Right. And honestly, up until maybe, I don't know, two months after Get Out had already come out, I realized that he was going to be in Black Panther. Yeah. So yeah. that was pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, so what is has what has the last like month been like for you <laughs> as this movie's gotten closer and closer? And then I'm like, hey, we're gonna go watch it a week and a half early. How do you feel about that? Well, that caught that caught me up with by surprise because you like text me. I'm like, I, I never thought I was gonna see it earlier. Yeah. But um, you text me. I was like, oh, we can go see it the week before. And now and I. <laughs> Passed out. <laughs> no, well, close to it. I, I I looked at my phone and then rubbed it, rubbed the screen just to make sure, <laughs> and I looked at it just just to make sure it was it was accurate. And I was like, Black Man to the movies, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> and immediately after that, I was like, Fuck yeah, dude, I'm yeah. in definitely. Yeah. So it's it's been that anticipation has been hard, but I already knew deep down that it was going to be good and mm-hmm. special, and it, and it was. You yeah. Know? So. Yeah, get into it. Just l- give us your thoughts on the movie. What did you think? The moment it ends, credits. I mean, I heard sniffling. I don't know if that's because you were feeling a little under oh, the weather, or if you were like both. But I'm I'm crying I'm, over here. I was, I was, I was blowing up at when the the film ended. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty much this film that I felt throughout the whole while watching it, uh, it didn't. It was a superhero film, but it at certain points it didn't feel like a superhero film. Which is fine. I got those same feelings from watching like The Dark Knight, uh, where you're watching a really, really good film, mm-hmm. and then you forget that oh, there's you know Black Panther superhero like similar to Batman just is a really solid film. Then you forget and realize oh Batman and Joker is in it. Yeah, you know. And I I got that feeling while watching some of these scenes. It was shot so well. The acting was amazing. All the, all the supporting characters were. Fucking amazing, uh, Chadwick. Of course, he was amazing. Every acting wise, shot wise, and I'm not trying to be biased, but this is a really overall good, solid film. Look, the 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 DP has is an Academy yeah award yeah, nominated <laughs> director of photography. It's Rachel Morrison yeah. who did Mudbound. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, you know, Ryan Coogler brought her brought Rachel over from other movies that he's mm-hmm. worked on. Mm-hmm. And they're a really great pair. You can definitely tell in the working it, just the way the movie shot. You can tell that those two definitely sat down. Whether or not they storyboard, I don't know. Not all directors do, but you can tell that they very much had sort of a clear understanding of this is what I'm trying to capture. This is what I need. Mm-hmm. This is like things that we can kind of play around with. Right. And this movie definitely has like a focus and a vision. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't try to do something new for the sake of doing something new it really just mostly focuses on 
well, we introduced T'Challa in Captain America Civil War and his father T'Chaka. Mm. Let's kind of deal of deal with the aftermath of that, but not really linger on what's come before. Let's just really focus on Black Panther. And yeah, I think with the acting and the story, the costume design, the production design, cinematography, and the music, which I thought was just like so good, uh, it really lent. It really kind of crafted this. M- I feel like saying great movie is just undersells it. Yeah, it's an understatement. It's, it's, it, it, it's it, such a such a good movie. It, it felt different. Well, I'm I not. Like I'm I not just undersold it again. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's excellent. I, damn yeah, it. It, it, it. I'm not saying that past Marvel films aren't good or excellent. No, uh, no, no. You know, but there's something about this film, the magic that it had, um, with all the shots, the, the acting, everything in this film just felt different, and yeah. it, it just felt new and fresh. Yeah. And I and I just really enjoyed the ride and experience of just enjoying watching this film. I'm going to see it multiple times, mm-hmm. of course. But uh, yeah, this this it exceeded my expectations. I mean, I, I already knew it was going to be good because Ryan yeah. Coogler did Creed and uh, Fruitvale Station, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So I, I wasn't, you know, doubting him. But Jesus Christ, <laughs> <laughs> you know, this. this I mean, I, I would. I mean, this is. I need to see it again just to be hundred percent sure. But yeah. based off me watching this now, afterwards, I think this is probably the best Marvel film, if not top three Marvel film. I'm not gonna lie, I put it in my top five. Well, yeah, it's big, yeah, so. yeah. It's it's it like I really and that's the thing is like for me going into the Black Panther movie, I think the difference between you and me it's like for you, Black Panther was a character that you grew up with. Right, right. I had no idea who Black Panther was growing up because yeah. I wasn't a big Mar- like I wasn't a Marvel guy. I was a DC guy, mm. so I didn't really. Spider Man was Spider Man and the X Men were sort of and very select X Men, mostly mm. Wolverine yeah. and like Xavier, Magneto, and Cyclops and Jean yeah. were sort of my like entry into Marvel, and then I didn't really know who these characters were until I saw the movies and. I, I was excited about Black Panther because I'm like, oh, this is cool. This is a character from, he's not American. Mm-hmm. He's from Africa. Mm-hmm. He's, it's a fictional country, but it's very much technologically advanced. Yep. He's a prince on the verge of becoming a king. There's all these sort of layers and so much depth to this world and this mythology. So we saw the trailers and I was so into it. But then you watch this movie and you're 100% right. To me, it feels so unique, not just from any Marvel movie, but also from a lot of the other superhero movies. Where, Whereas like... I don't really know if I... It's a superhero movie, but it's not at the same time because it's very much grounded and it deals with the family and the royalty Mm -hmm. and sort of the hierarchy of Wakanda. It deals very much about his relationship with not just his mother and his sister, but also with Lupita Nyong'o's character and Danae Guerrero's character, who's the general of the Dora Milaje. It deals with his relationship with Forrest Whitaker's character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Also with... with, um, is it um, uh, Martin? Oh, uh, 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 the guy who plays in uh, Lord of the Rings or Hobbit. I mean, yeah, uh, uh, Martin Martin Freeman. Freeman, yeah, yeah, Martin yeah. Freeman, uh, who's obviously who's in this movie as well. Right. He's he he actually has a bigger role than I thought he was yeah, going to have. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's what I think is so great. This movie takes Chadwick Boseman, a guy who I liked him in, I think it was 42. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen some of his other work, but I've seen, I saw 42 and, gonna, I, and I liked him. Is that that Thurgood movie? The mm-hmm. Thurgood Marshall movie? Was he, yeah, I forget the movie was called. I think it was Thurgood. I, 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 I think, think so. Was. Yeah. Or Marshall. Marshall, yeah. 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 But Pretty was good in that too. Yeah. So like I have sort of a limited viewing experience of Chadwick Boseman's movies, but I liked him in Civil War. Right. And this movie, what I thought did so well, it played on the strengths of what he did in Civil War and then surrounds him with like a really solid supporting yeah. cast. Yeah. And again, I think the thing that makes this movie so good and so unique is the fact that, yes, it's a superhero movie, but mm-hmm. that's sort of secondary to the character and the world and the mythology. And it's more sort of important that they seem to play it up that the importance of Black Panther is more about the legacy and the family aspect of it. And not so much he's a superhero with a really cool suit and really cool gadgets mm-hmm. who can like fight crime and you know stop bad guys it's not about that it's definitely more about maintaining the legacy of black panther what does it mean to not just t'challa but what does it mean to wakanda and what do sort of the secrets and the the past and the lies and the deceit what does that sort of do to that character internally and and that struggle and like how does he have to overcome that which i thought was so good right with his for example his uh right hand man uh right hand woman uh uh, what's her name? Danny? Danny? Danny Guerrero. Danny yeah. Guerrero. She was 
amazing. Oh, um, yeah. But the thing about that, one one of the things I loved about the film is that they showcase, they bring women to the forefront of how they support and uh, protect and empower the king, which I thought was awesome. You know, um, his sister being a, a, a pretty much a tech uh, genius, helping him out, uh, designing his uh, his suit and his other tech was awesome. You know, it, just just little things, well, not little things, big things like that impactful in this film, things. impactful things, yeah. yeah, that happened in this film was just awesome. That, like I said, we don't see very often Look, in I films can, in general. So. I could watch a movie, I could watch a movie called Wakanda <laughs> that just starts Danae Guerrero, Lupita Nyong'o, and Letitia Wright. Oh, gosh. And Angela Bassett, oh, and I'm gosh. like, I don't even need, I don't even need T'Challa. He's great. Yeah. I don't even need them. Just give me a movie about the Dora Milaje and I'm fine. Yeah. I don't it, even need Daniel Kaluuya, Kaluuya in there. They, I'm good. They did a good job with, um, at, at certain pockets of when the focus is on another character, the, yeah. the support characters, they did a good job, good balance of telling something about them that was enough to be like, oh, we're interested. Tell us more. You know, uh, Chadwick Boseman, uh, Boseman Black Panther was good, but the supporting characters, like I said earlier, <clears throat> fucking killed it. You know? Yeah, <laughs> that is one of the things that I have heard people say. And I mean, if you look at a lot of the social media re- reactions to Black Panther, a lot of it is. Michael B. Jordan as Eric Killmonger was amazing. The supporting cast and the Dora Milaje and the sister, they're amazing. No one really talks about Chadwick Boseman. And I think Chadwick Boseman is great as mm-hmm. T'Challa as Black Panther. He's really, really good. But I, I think the movie, and part of me feels like it was a little strategic, was, look, we established this character in Captain America Civil War. Yeah, He, he was a big part of that story, a big part of that movie. Not that we're going to put him to the side in this movie, but we don't have to. We don't really have to focus so much on him. It doesn't have to be ninety percent attention on Black Panther, ten yeah. percent attention on everybody else. And that's good war building. World exactly, building, because they can kind of split split all that sort of attention to everybody: to his mom, his sister, the Dora Milaje, uh, you know, all of the characters that sort of inhabit the Black Panther universe. And it makes a much richer world, in my opinion. Yeah. The yeah. movie ended, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like, I, I, if we sit here long enough, will they just hit play again? It, it's just you it really, did feel like that. You really just get sucked into the world. And even though it's a world that I'm not familiar with, the way, like, even though it's a fictional comic book universe, I look at that and I go, wow, like, African culture to me is very interesting because a lot of what they, I, at least that's what I'm assuming, a lot of what they did in that movie is very much rooted in reality yeah. to yeah. a certain extent. Like, yes, it's a fictional country within Africa, but the clothing, the, the sort of the art, and the things that we see to me is like, well, I'm sure they wouldn't make up all these things that don't in some way kind of represent what you would expect to see in Africa, which I think is so cool because it's beautiful. Yeah. One of the things you either touched on earlier or when we were discussing it after the film yeah. is uh, they kept like, well, wait, actually, no, I can't say that because it's a spoiler. So never mind. I almost called myself. I called myself gladly. I did. <laughs> but uh, the thing with the place with the people. Like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> I can't say it. God. So, uh, yeah. Go on. <laughs> I completely derailed me. I was like, oh, wait, I can't say that. So, uh, all right. Yeah. Well, I think, I think at the sort of at the, at the end of it, the thing that I liked the most about it was that it was a movie that very much sort of pulled me in and made me really engage with the characters and the world. And I think a lot of times with these superhero movies, especially when it's characters that we've seen multiple iterations of, yeah. I'm kind of just there to be like, well, what's the cool new action scene that you're going to do? Mm. Whereas with this, there is action in this movie, mm-hmm. but it's not really about that. Yep. You it kind of takes a while to get from one action sequence to another to another. Right. But when they do them, to me they hit really well, especially the casino sequence which we've seen clips of. I've like, never seen it. Well, I've seen a little bit of it, but I've yeah. heard that was the clip they showed at Comic-Con. Comic-Con. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah. It's way better in yeah. context. <laughs> <laughs> when you get like the full sequence, it's so so yeah. so good. Yeah. And I think that's what is so cool about that movie is that it's not really driven by action. It's very much driven uh, driven by T'Challa, Eric Killmonger's story, which honestly, what a good, what a good, good, he, yeah, great villain. He's probably well. He doesn't really have any much competition in Marvel universe in terms of villains, True. besides Loki. Yeah. But he's his why he's doing such and such is so good. <laughs> like it, it it's. To the point where, as he's talking about his motives, you're like, oh, you know what? You have a point. You know, yeah. I would 
kind of agree with you with that. Yeah. But yeah, but he he killed it pretty much. He's so good. I mean, it's Michael B. Jordan. Ryan Coogler is never not going to work with Michael B. Yeah. Jordan. Yeah. I'm sure if it was his perfect world, he probably would have cast Michael B. Jordan right. as T'Challa, which. Yeah. Look, if that, if that was the alternate reality that we lived in, I'd be totally fine with it. But I love the fact that Ryan Coogler, and I think it has, I think it's more than just the fact that they have a good working relationship. I think it's also Ryan Coogler probably recognizes that the trend of Marvel movies, the villains have sort of been the biggest problem outside of like Loki. Yeah. The biggest complaint about all the Marvel movies, at least, is that the villains are not strong. And the thing that I love about this is even like, we don't see Eric Killmonger that much in the movie. Like we see him when we need to see him, when it's really pivotal and important. Yeah, yeah. And it completely justifies why he is the way he is. To me, that is uh, that's the way you do a villain right. I don't need to see him every five minutes. Yeah. But if you can really kind of hit home why he is the way he is and explain or show why the motive, like why the motivation is there for him to yeah. be in the movie, then to me it works extremely well. And when he's on screen, I mean, he's firing yeah, on all his, cylinders. His parts were always impactful where you're like, okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Keep going. And it always advances the story more. Right, right. Yeah. Man, I just, I, yeah, I just never thought of that until you just put that out. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right about that. Um, <laughs> you guys need to see this film. <laughs> There's so much I want to say, and I'm like filtering in my mind as we go on. I can't yeah. say much. Was no. there any any moment without without potentially spoiling anything in the movie? Was there any particular moment, maybe that's even in the trailers that you would want to mention? That's like this was great in the trailer. It's even it's like ten times better in the movie. Aside from that casino scene, because. It was really well, good. That casino scene was really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the they show a little bit in the trailer of the uh, of Killmonger turning into getting the suit. Mm-hmm. Uh, that whole uh, sequence was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I, I can't tell you what <laughs> <laughs> was going, why it was going on, yeah. but yeah, that that whole sequence, why it got to that point, was pretty cool. As as well as the um, when uh, they're in, they're interrogating um, oh uh, Ulysses Claw, yeah Claw, that was also a pretty cool uh, yeah. sequence that I can't go into detail because <laughs> you know it's a spoiler, but yeah, yeah. there's there, there's plenty of scenes, but those two pretty much stick yeah. out. Yeah, so. and. I think the biggest thing for for people that they'll probably notice if they're big fans of the Black Panther comic book is that certain characters' backstories are kind of changed yeah. to sort of work into the movie better. If I would have never known that that was a change, I think it's great the way yeah. it works into the movie. And I, from what I know about certain characters' backstories from the comic books, I think those are also fine. But I think when you're when you're working within sort of this context of just focusing like that's the one thing that should be noted about this movie this movie is just strictly focused on wakanda yeah. and black panther yeah. there is there are well that's what i was going to say earlier yeah. but i didn't know if that was a spoiler so, yeah, yeah i mean i don't think it's a spoiler to say like there are references to civil war because it takes place after yeah, yeah. but it has mostly to deal with t'chaka and t'challa and right. the relationship and sort of i think it's mostly just there as a reminder to the audience of like hey by the way this happened and it's yeah. important that's i think that's why another reason you touched on this earlier um another reason another reason why this film was good because it just focused on wakanda yeah. it left uh, mostly uh, it's mostly focused on Wakanda yeah. pretty much like uh, 90% yeah yeah, yeah, pretty much 90% yeah. but that's why I felt it was so fresh and new because we've never seen Wakanda before like I said and we've never been introduced to characters other than uh, T'Challa himself Black Panther mm-hmm. uh, and it's just like a just whole new adventure of just seeing these characters brought to the front yeah. Forefront. We've got a little snippets of it in, you know, Civil War, but that's about it. Yeah, and and I think that's that to me is what's so exciting about this movie. And I think it kind of does what Guardians did, whereas Guardians it got off of Earth, it yeah. went into these other parts of the universe, yeah. and into multiple different types of galaxies, showed us brand new things, brand new aliens, brand new creatures. But I, the thing I love about Black Panther so much is the fact that it's on Earth. It's within their reality, obviously. Yeah. But it feels, it's just so fresh. Right. And it felt like, it was a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Really. That's the only way I can really explain it without going into like detail as to why. Right. But I think that was the biggest thing for me was, wow, I'm watching a superhero movie in 2018 when we've had God knows how many. Yeah. And I'm like, man, this is so fresh and yeah. like, great. 
Yeah, because most superhero films take place in a New York, New York, California, Avengers Tower, yeah, LA. I, this is this is something new. Yeah, uh, I got a question. Um, I know pretty much every character in that film was awesome, but what was a standout for you? Standout character? Yeah. Ooh. Um. I would probably have to say his sister, Shuri. God, that was gonna be. Yeah. She's so what, great. Yeah, she's so good. For the moment, you know, she came on the 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 scene. The first yeah. moment, she was just okay. You're awesome. Well, and yeah. I love how I love how she kind of pokes the bear. Yeah, yeah. And she just kind of makes fun of of T'Challa sometimes, and sometimes the mom is like, "Shuri, <laughs> uh, tone it down a little bit." Yeah, yeah. And then the next scene where he goes into her lab and she's uh about to show him new suits, she's bowing to him and yeah. he's like, "Stop that!" Yeah, yeah. It, it, like I love the fact that they have like, such a a fun, playful, you know, sibling relationship. Yeah. I think a lot of times with super, especially with superheroes. A lot of superheroes don't have siblings that get to be a part of their adventure. Mm. It doesn't happen as often, but because this is about a royal family, mm. the mom, even the dad, who even though is dead, yeah. you still yeah. get to see sort of like how that plays into the story. And then the sister. And I think that's so... That again is very unique. It kind of reminds me honestly of Black Lightning. Mm. After watching the first, oh, first yeah. couple episodes, yeah. it's like... Oh yeah, I get it. This show is different from all the other DC Arrowverse shows because it's about family, yeah. but it's told from a very mature perspective. Yep. Yep. Which I like so much. And I think that's what makes Black Panther really exciting. Yeah. As well. Um mine, I mean, the sister was she was she was awesome. Yeah. Uh Killmonger will have to be mine. Uh Totally. Uh, one of the reasons why is his motives kind of reminds me of uh Vegeta from mm -hmm. Dragon Ball, uh, of course, Dragon Ball. Uh, the way he, his background and why he's like that to where he is now, it, it kind of gives me a little sprinkles of, of Vegeta. Um, I'm not going to say too much after that in, involving Vegeta. But yeah, um, Killmonger was pretty much the the shining one out, out of all of them. Not saying that all the other ones suck because they don't, but... No. Yeah, it's like if everyone's at a 10... Killmongers are like, Lying. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he, I did not expect, because of course, Marvel, like I said earlier, Marvel villains are pretty much most, for the most part, lackluster except for Loki. Mm -hmm. What they did writing wise, from talking about his background to uh, leading to how he grew up to why he's going to uh, Wakanda, et cetera, et cetera, all that was just really good writing yeah really spot on writing i guess i give kudos to uh um who wrote this actually there's ryan coogler and another oh, writer oh, so and ryan coogler he, not only directed it but he also yeah he's one of the writers i forget i forget the second writer's okay. name and i regret it now yeah. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> but yeah a killmonger is definitely definitely a favorite yeah. um also um uh Danae, uh, I always mess up her Danae last Guerrera. name. Guerrero. Yeah, she was another one that was also... Well, and I think that, that's the thing I like about those characters so much is there's a serious there's a seriousness to them. Yeah. But in certain moments, there's also this levity and lightness and humor. Yeah. And I think all of these, all the actors, in particular, obviously the sister, but aside yeah. from the sister, Danae Guerrero. Yeah. Very much sort of nails that where she's like tough as nails general. Yeah. But she can also crack a joke. Yeah. And it's never at an inappropriate time. That's actually that's the one thing I will say about this movie too. A lot of times the Marvel movies for me, it happened in Thor Ragnarok, it happened in Guardians of the Galaxy, it's even happened to other ones. I feel like the humor is so poorly oh, yeah. it's poorly placed. Yeah. Man, this movie has some real <laughs> like funny moments and it, it doesn't take feels you so out genuine. of it. Yeah. It feels real genuine, yeah. especially with an with characters who like I would not expect it with. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. moments one that big, I wouldn't expect it with. Yeah, one big one that yeah. I did not expect And I'm like, all. oh, this is refreshing. <laughs> I, I'm watching a Marvel movie. There's a comedic moment happening and I'm not like, really? We had to kill this yeah. moment? With it? Like, it works totally, yeah. Yeah. which is great because, yeah, a lot of times for me, especially... Thor Ragnarok, there's there are moments where I'm like, good lord, we're really dragging the jokes out. Whereas this, it's like joke and we're moving, joke and we're moving, mm -hmm. and it doesn't happen that often, obviously. And I think that's also the difference is the tone of the movie. Mm -hmm. Whereas some of the uh, recent entries have gone sort of in a more comedic route. Black Panther has moments of humor and levity, but it is sort of secondary to like 
This is a story about a man who's about to be a boy who's about to become a man, a prince to a king. What does that sort of do to his world? Right. And that's the focus. And I think that's what really makes it great and really keeps it on trajectory. Yeah. Another thing that I, I, I loved about the film was uh, along with all the women being brought to the forefront, they, they for me personally, they remind me a lot of my mother and sister. Mm. Uh, where, for example, uh, I'm trying to word it in a way without spoiling. <laughs> yeah. Danae's character uh, kind of reminds me of my mother, whereas she's strong and she'll, you know, pull you by your ear when you, you know, you got to do something in a certain you way. Say, you, right. you can say she'll take a spatula to your forehead. Yeah, yeah pretty much. But she's all, she also, uh, yeah, <laughs> she also, uh, <laughs> yeah, she did that once. <laughs> <laughs> but but what I loved about it is she she as well as other women in the film empowered uh, T'Challa, mm-hmm. helped them grow as a, as a man as a king that he's trying to become for this this kingdom, and I I, I can relate a lot to that because I've had a lot of women that I grew up with my sister and my mom um, to now to nowadays well grandmother too in case you're watching and I didn't forget you grandma. <laughs> But even now, you're really gonna get a spatula to the forehead. (laughs) Ding, ding, ding! Did you forget about me? (laughs) Even nowadays, I have have good friends, uh, good woman uh, friends, and even my girlfriend uh, that just help empower me, help uh, push me to my right goals. And I could I could relate a lot to uh, all the women in this film and what T'Challa had to go through. And having them as his aid was really, really just awesome to see on a film. Yeah. So plus, I think. Look, let's call it out for what it is. The Marvel Cinematic Universe doesn't really, up until now, hasn't really given their female characters a lot to do. Yeah, yeah. Scarlet, or not Scarlet Witch, uh, Black Widow, I yeah. think, is sort of the most used female character in the Marvel and Universe. She hasn't got a film yet, but she's getting a film now, mm-hmm. which, About you know, time. better late than never. Right. But, you know. Scarlet Witch is such a newer character that yeah. there hasn't really been much for her. I think maybe Pepper Potts. Yeah. But pe- to me, Pepper Potts was a great supporting role, a supporting character for Tony Stark. Yeah. Had great comedic bits, also had... You know, certain moments where she would sort of help out and be a part of it, but mostly it's Tony Stark. Right, right. Whereas with this, it's like T'Challa in this movie can't really do what he needs to do without yeah. his yeah. sister, his mother, the Dora Milaje, and Lupita Nyongo's character. And it's like, it's great because it creates a really good, strong sort of foundation for Wakanda. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To have all of these people, even though he's the king, to have all of these people there as a support system, yeah. not only for him, but for the entire nation, which I think, yeah, like yeah, it's it, great it, that we're empowering this unique and diverse type of characters. And honestly, good on the comic book for doing that. Mm-hmm. And good on people like Tanahisi Coates who have sort of come in and been like, let's double down on all these things that are like really important to the Black Panther mythology and make sure that we're giving all these characters really strong foundations and giving them a lot to do. Yeah. It which is. seems like that's what this new Black Panther run of comics is. I mean, I... It's, it's really good. Yeah, like, honestly, I tried reading it, and I had a hard time getting into it because I'm like, this is really dense. Yeah. Like, this is not just a comic. It's not just you're, a superhero film. Yeah. Well, not just a film. Superhero comic, like, yeah. you know, Superman. You're not you going know? one, two, three, yeah. four. You're going, like, one. Oh, wow, interesting. Yeah. Two. Like, it's a... You really got to absorb yeah, it. There's and a lot I, of politics that you have there to deal is. with as well in that, in that comic book line, which is good it's fine yeah. it adds more layers to uh totally. the story and the kingdom of uh wakanda mm-hmm. so but that all leads back to what you, uh what you were saying all leads back to what the general idea or theme of wakanda is and that is pretty much family and being together and working together with one another mm-hmm. to keep this whole kingdom you know going I don't know how long I'll... Well, I can't... Okay. I, I'll stop. <laughs> I was about to go in this point, but I was like, okay. okay. I will say it has one of the coolest opening sequences. The opening yeah, credits. Yeah, and it's something that we I did not expect at all. I didn't either. I thought it was going to be... Oh, God damn it. I can't say <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I will say this about the... Which I don't think is a spoiler. I think what Wonder Woman did okay. using sort of the history... Explaining the history in an artistic way. Mm-hmm. I think Black Panther does it with sort of the legacy of the Black Panther. Yeah, yeah. And I love that. And I think that's such a perfect way of sort of introducing people to like, what is this Black Panther movie? Here's two and a half minutes of credits and we're going to explain it to you. And it's really easy to digest. Yeah. yeah. I did, there's, I really wish I could be here for this spoiler. Maybe I'll be here. I don't know yet. I got to check my plans. But if 
I'm here. You are so desperate to talk about spoilers. This. I almost just want to let you go for 10 minutes. Just like, <laughs> spoiler talk. <laughs> Naeem, go. I, oh, man. I, I won't okay. be mad. I, I got to stop. I got to stop. It's going to start. It's going to jump. No, I got to stop. It's a great film. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it's a really great oh. film. I, I, uh, yeah. I want to go back and watch it right now. I know. Yeah. Generally, I will say, like, I really love this movie a lot. Is there things that I had that I had like small little nitpicky problems with? There might be a couple, but it's not something that I'm going to address here because I, it would require going into spoilers, and I'd rather not do that. But I will say that my negatives of the movie are so minimal, and they're so sort of like outweighed by how great this movie is and how well it's constructed and all that sort of stuff, how well it's acted mm -hmm. and directed. I would say that service level the biggest thing that i would say is like some of the visual effects are not that great and by not that great i mean like they're decent they could be better but they're not bad enough that i'm like no nah, that didn't really work for me like they still work for me on the level of like hey they're really really good if maybe they had an extra like couple weeks they probably would have been better hmm. otherwise and it's only like in one part of the movie honestly the rest of it i'm like it looks good it sounds good it, everything else about it is great it's like these little teeny tiny things but nothing that takes away from how good the characters are how good the mythology is and how good the movie sort of treats all of these characters and how it gives them all sort of their due mm. i think for me it fires on all cylinders in that regard okay i, I don't have any <laughs> You're like I just loved it. Uh, well, I, I I need to see it again. Yeah, just to I still need to digest. I think right now we're just still riding on a right, high. Right, we're still riding on a high, and I just need to watch it again so I could just okay. Now that I've seen it, I can analyze it a bit more. Mm -hmm. I know what's going to happen in, um, throughout the film. I could just probably see something that I probably missed. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see after the second uh, showing when I go see it. Um, what I think, but I probably still want to say it's a perfect movie though. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's so good. Shut the fuck up, anybody else who has another opinion. <laughs> um, uh, Naeem, where can everybody find you on the internet so they can go and try to harass you for questions and answers about spoilers about this movie? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at the Vicious Fool. You can find me on Twitch. I stream on Twitch at Vicious Fool. You can find me on Instagram at the Vicious Fool. Uh, you can find me here on Hyper, working in the back. Sometimes you see me come out every once in a while. Like a Vicious Fool. Yeah. Yeah, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> I might just pop in sometimes and just scare you on stream if I can. Usually it works better with Matt, not so much with you, but yeah. I'll do my best. Yeah. Um, as for me, you can just find me at Adam Lavic on all social media. And uh, we'll definitely have Naeem on for Hyper Heroes so he can talk about spoilers. So he doesn't feel like he has to watch what he says every five just seconds. Please do. I and he can just kind of go... All in. Pretty much going to open the lock and I'm like. Blah, 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 yeah. Because at that point, we'll have. We'll, so we're going to do a spoiler review next week. And at that point, we'll just let you have the floor for 10 okay. minutes and just monologue what yeah. you love about this yeah. movie. Yeah. That'd be perfect. <laughs> just like the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 10. It's a 10. I don't care what you say. Yeah. Go fuck off. If yeah. you don't think so, bye. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be our non spoiler review for Black Panther. Leave your comments down below if you have seen it, if you're one of the select few who has seen it early. And uh, until then, uh, we'll catch you in the next review. Bye.